Can you? Yes, you watching right now. If I asked you, do you think you could hit a flip reset? <laughs> Odds are, if you're like most people who responded on my wow. Discord server, you'd probably answer, yeah, I can flip reset. But what if instead I asked you, can you flip reset consistently, right? That's the real question. Because it doesn't matter if you can hit a flip reset one out of 10 times in training. What matters is if I actually gave you the shot in game, could you hit it consistently? So today I'm going to show you the steps I took to take my resets from being a sometimes thing to being an actual lock in my games. But before I forget guys, normally this is where I do the classic YouTube shout, you know, like and subscribe, all that stuff. But if you're watching this near when it comes out, then you still have time to get in on all the Fennec giveaways I'm doing over on my Discord and TikTok. So stay tuned until the end of the video for more info on that. Anyways, let's talk about how to flip reset consistently. All right guys, so as you may or may not know, I've actually made a flip reset tutorial a while back on the channel. But the thing was, at the time, my flip resets were really not all that. I mean, I could hit them occasionally if I got the perfect setup, but everything I talked about in that video was pretty starter level knowledge. Now, don't get me wrong, it's it's good to get started there, but today I want to show you the actual steps I've taken over the past 6 months to take my flip resets from being a, you know, in training, sometimes in game thing to an actual, you know, consistent mechanic that I can pull off in games. So let's break down the things I've done over the last couple months to practice my flip resets, and then we'll go into the most common mistakes I see when it comes to players trying to pull off this mechanic. All right, so we're in training, and what you should notice right off the bat here is that we're not in any kind of training. We're not in a training pack, actually. We are in free play. And now here is the first tip that has helped me transform my flip resets, guys. It's actually practicing this mechanic in training. <laughs> you see, for the longest time, I practiced this mechanic using training packs. And while training packs are totally fine, if you only practice the same shot from the same angle with a setup completely handed to you on a silver platter when anything goes wrong in game you're not going to be able to handle adjusting your car and actually dealing with that change so step number one is once you have the very very basics down of the flip reset which we're going to handle in a second here what i need you to do is start training this mechanic in free play that's been absolutely huge for improving my reset abilities but okay once we're in training what do we actually do to improve the flip reset? Well, my first little quick tip is whenever you're practicing an aerial mechanic like this one, if you do have Bacchus mod on PC, what I recommend you do is use the little up uh, button on your D-pad to help spawn the ball on your car, and you can carry it over to the walls much more efficiently and get your resets set up, uh, and really any wall mechanic for that matter, set up quicker, uh, which is gonna help you get more reps in. But okay, now that we know that, we're in free play, we got the short cuts down, let's talk what you should actually do to reset now my other tutorial goes into the very very nitty-gritty the details on everything I'm going to do here but I'm gonna give you the short summary of how I hit my flip resets so let's go to the left wall first the most important thing when you're going for a flip reset is not going to be the actual setup you know, with, with the ceiling shot, you have to make sure you hit the ball close to the ceiling. Otherwise, if the ball hits the ceiling, the mechanic is basically screwed. But with flip resets, you can actually hit them from a very, very wide variety of angles. The most important thing, though, with the flip reset is the actual timing of it all. And so here's the first step. What you need to be doing to hit flip resets consistently is you need to be hitting the ball up so that way you can catch it when it is on the upswing. So after you drive the ball to the wall, for example, I'm going to hit it up, I'm going to fly after it, and ignore the air roll adjustments or anything like that. <laughs> We're going to get to that in a second. The thing that you need to be paying attention to right now is the fact that when I hit this ball up, I am getting the reset before it comes down, okay? And that is huge because look, 
if you wait to get your flip reset until the ball is already falling, you might get the reset, um, but it's going to be very, very inconsistent. And even if you manage to land that reset, the ball is probably not going to be in a position where you can actually recover and uh, make a touch on it. So step one, you got to make sure that you space yourself adequately so you can hit the ball up, gain some space, but actually get to it before the ball has fallen down too much. That's step one. And then from there, we can get into the actual reset part. So first you got to make sure you get to the I'm ball so fast, fast enough. You couldn't even comprehend how fast I am. But then from there, obviously you got to make sure you hit it with the center of your car's hitbox. Now, step by step, what do we actually do to make that happen? Well, what I like to do is take advantage of the tornado spin mechanic that I talk about in a lot of my air roll guns. Now, once again, I don't have time to go over it in depth here, but it's very, very important when you're going for flip resets that you take advantage of directional air roll if you have it. Now, if you don't have directional air roll, stop it. Get some better bindings. This is one of the only mechanics, you know, <laughs> forfeit stalls maybe as the only other honorable mention. But flip resets are really one of the only mechanics where having a directional air roll is a big advantage over not having it. So being able to air roll left, say, for example, or equally air roll right is going to be big for getting flip resets because you're going to be able to not just air roll your car, but actually pivot while you air roll. And this is very, very important for exposing the bottom half of your car. So if you see, when I go for flip resets, what I do is I actually use the tornado spin feature to get my car aligned with the ball as quickly as possible. And this is what allows me to hit flip resets in a lot of different situations. Because I have a directional air roll bound, I can quickly adjust my car no matter where it is in the air. And that is huge in improving the consistency of my resets. I would recommend you experiment with directional air roll if you're noticing an in consistency in your flip resets. From there though, now that we've talked about uh, the timing and the actual mechanical movements, let's break down when I use these different movements to hit my resets consistently. So first thing I do, I spawn the ball in my car and I drive it over to the wall. For there, I'm gonna hit it into the air and I'm gonna try to get it near the ceiling, but really what matters most is that the ball has enough upward momentum that I can get to it before it falls down. From here, what you'll notice I do, I use a tornado spin to align my car with the ball. And then from there, when I am about two ball lengths away from the ball, I'm going to start pulling down on my joystick. It's very important that you not just fly at the ball, but actually fly through it when you're getting your resets. If you notice here, what I'm doing differently than a lot of players that allows me to get my resets consistently is I don't just fly under the ball and let it fall on me. I actually seek out the reset while the ball is on its upwards trajectory. And that forward momentum I have when I fly through the ball is what allows me to actually force a reset. If you just fly under the ball and you let it fall on you, there is a chance that you won't have enough speed going into the ball to actually press down on it and initiate a reset. That's something that a lot of people don't realize. You actually have to press down on the ball to a very slight degree, but a degree nonetheless to get your reset. So what you want to do on the left wall is hit the ball up, tornado spin to align your car. When you're about two ball lengths away from the ball, pull down on your joystick to actively slap down on the ball. This is that slapping method that I mentioned in my other reset tutorial and get the reset. This goes for both sides, no matter what directional air roll you are using. But just know that if you're air roll lefting from the right wall or air roll righting from the left wall, you're going to probably have to do one extra spin to get that reset. But big picture, these are the keys I use to hitting my resets. To recap, what I do is I go to free play and I practice different angles and different speeds with the ball, just focusing on catching it on the upswing. It doesn't matter where you initiate the reset from, whether it's very, very close to the net, very, very far from the net, so long as it has upward momentum and you drive through it. Big picture, that training routine, that method is how you are going to take your resets from being a, you know, inconsistent thing to an actual consistent part of of your game plan.
So let's switch gears and talk about some mistakes for a second. And speaking of the number one mistake I see when people are going for flip resets is clearly not having the aerial car control necessary before trying to learn this mechanic. I mean, time and time again, I'll see players that really ought not to be practicing flip resets, training flip resets just because they want to learn a flashy mechanic. And I get it guys, you know, flip resets are cool. No matter what rank you are, you probably want to be able to say, you know, you can pull it off at least sometimes. But but the truth is, if you are trying to practice this mechanic before you can even do basic adjustments in the air, you're going to be putting the cart before the horse and your training is going to take actually so much, so much, so much more time than it should just because you're trying to learn this mechanic too early. So the number one mistake I see is players learning this mechanic before they're ready. And so what you should do instead is make sure you drill my aerial car control routine that I shouted in my newest training routine video, as well as in a lot of my rings guides. I really, really recommend you start there before trying to learn the flip reset mechanic. The second error I see people making when it comes to flip resets is hitting the ball too far away so they have to catch it on the downswing. Now, this is fine. You can get away with catching the ball on the downswing. I know I made a big deal about it earlier. You can get resets while the ball is on the downswing. You'll see pros do it all the time, but it should be your goal to get the reset as quick as possible. I found that teaching the reset this way, you know, from experience to a lot of the players I've coached in my private coaching programs and in my one-on-one -on -one coaching, what I've found is that teaching them to actively seek out the reset helps make it more consistent. So by no means do you have to catch it on the upswing but if you're noticing inconsistencies in your reset, you should definitely start there. Mistake number three, once we're past, you know, the first two of just training the mechanic too early and not catching it on the upswing is going to be pulling down too late on your joystick. It happened a lot and I honestly did it for the longest time, but if you wait too long before you start pulling down on your joystick to get the reset, what's going to happen is you're only going to hit the ball with say two of your four wheels or something sometimes even less, and you're not going to hit the resets consistently. So what you need to make sure you do is you actually start pulling down on your joystick to slap the ball and get the reset, so to speak, um, a little bit before you reach it which is also why I say it's very important that you get your car in position to hit the reset early on, because the earlier you can, you can get your car in position, the quicker you can make the adjustment and the sooner you can hit the ball, which is going to give you once again, the best chance at actually driving through the ball and getting the reset. Lastly, the final most common error I see people make when going for resets is not flying through the ball. And what I mean by this is what a lot of players will do when they're first learning resets is they will forget to boost through the ball. They'll be so focused on adjusting their car that they'll actually just completely let go of boost and let their car drift towards the ball. But the problem with this is if you hit the ball too softly, you'll notice the game will not always give you that flip reset. So once again, really focus on getting to the ball as quickly as possible and flying through it, not just under it. You want to make sure that you have that vertical momentum as well as horizontal momentum. So you are flying in the direction that the ball is flying faster than the ball. This is really key, guys. You are flying in the same direction that the ball is going, but just a little faster than it. So your car presses through the ball. That's the key to ensuring your flip resets land consistently. Now, that being said, guys, I know that was a lot to digest in one tutorial, but these few tips are the key, I'd say, to what has transformed my flip resets in the past, say, couple months. Also, my new live coaching program is accepting applications for our summer launch. We're going to be recruiting our summer roster for the program this June, but we're already seeing some crazy results within our spring launch. The first link in the description down below is going to relay you to the program application form. And if you want to be eligible for summer entry, you should go fill that out as soon as possible. But with all that being said, guys, I really do hope this was a helpful tutorial. I figured it was about time I updated the flip reset tutorial. And I'm interested to know if any of these tips in here helped create a light bulb moment for you. But to those of us who can implement these tips into our gameplay, to us, I say consistency is coming. Cheers, guys.